My name is Andrea English, and I'm a philosopher of education. And I'm currently working at the University of Edinburgh as a Chancellor's Fellow. And my research has always looked at um, human experience. And I'm particularly interested in theories of teaching and learning and how um, the, the relationship between teachers and learners develops over time and that there are many moral and ethical dimensions to that relationship. And um, a particular area of my research is looking at the limits of our experience and how, as human beings, we not only gain knowledge, but we run up against barriers where we have to seek out, you know, ask new questions, um, seek out advice, communicate with others, and that there's that social and moral dimension to who we are. And I think philosophy, um, particularly philosophy of education, allows us to have a certain lens on those experiences and articulate um, what it is about the human experience that allows us to be educated. My first position was in Germany. Um, I was a lecturer, um, or had a lectureship in philosophy of education and I completed my degree there. So my interests have always been um, bridging different traditions. And so in my work, I was bridging the continental tradition, German tradition, with American pragmatism. And um, after leaving Germany, I got a position in Canada, where I worked in teacher education and postgraduate philosophy of education for several years um, before coming to the University of Edinburgh. My first paper at this conference was actually 11 years ago, and it was on John Dewey. Um, and here I am, um, 11 years later, also giving a presentation on John Dewey. Um, but in this context, it's a collaborative effort. Um, we have a uh, panel that is in celebration of John Dewey's centenary of democracy and education. And the panelists and myself are part of a co-edited volume with myself and Leonard Wax um, that will be a handbook. So it will be John Dewey's Democracy and Education, a centennial handbook that's being put out by Cambridge University Press. And um, our idea and the idea behind the panel was to look back at Dewey a um, hundred years later and think about, you know, what does he offer us today in terms of a lens to rethink the problems and issues, um, critical questions surrounding education.